What's up, mind testers? Let's check it out. Okay, guys, and so here we are back, and I'm gonna do my my YouTube thingy, and then it's gonna see this pic, and it's gonna like add this in my thumbnail. So that's how YouTube works. Like, if they see a handshake, then they pick that as your thumbnail, I think. <laughs> so this is all theoretical. <laughs> we'll see what happens. A anyways, uh, okay, so last time I talked to you about items and what, and non-items. So you should have returned to me uh, a picture of something that is not an item. Uh, so let's talk about items specifically. Now, if I take you over to the textbook and in chapter three, uh, it actually describes what items, some of the main items in the game. And it uh, highlights them as nodes, craft items, and tools. So, uh, uh, and what do you know? In my inventory right now, just so happens to have a tool, a craft item, and an uh, iron ore. So that's pretty cool. Uh, what, are, what are these and why do I have them in my inventory? Well, they're the three things, right? So um, let me go over some of the characteristics. Let's start with, uh, line these up here. Let's start with just a node. That's probably the simplest thing to understand and that will be today's lesson is on nodes. So nodes are everywhere. They actually fill the entire mind test universe. There isn't a single space that is not filled with a node. Uh, well, you might say, well, what about all this stuff you're looking at here? There's nothing up there, right? Well, actually, there are. Uh, that That is simply air, and it has a specific uh, definition. It has a specific um, property, which allows you to look through it and to walk through it. So that every single spot and location on the map is filled with a node. Uh, now each of these nodes can have different properties. Like I was, refer like I'm telling you about uh, air. Uh, air is walkable, uh, or sorry, it's walkable false, which means you can go through it. Uh, it's oh, opaque, it's transparent, uh, and uh, and so you can see through it. Whoops, I'm starting to. Ah, uh, all right. So um, uh, and 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 but then there's sand, right? And sand you can't. Um, uh, walk through necessarily, but at, at any rate, here we have f several different node types. Okay, um, they have different properties, uh, and and they're cubic. They they kind of just take up a cube of space. If I'm not mistaken, I think that this is also uh, considered technically a node. Uh, if you break it, of course, it ends up in your inventory. It also does take up uh, an entire. Uh, it also takes up an entire cube because if I place, well, actually, that's right. That's right. That's actually a property of a node. You can place uh, on where it is, and that's called uh, placeable. Ah, or I can't remember. Anyways, so basically, um, different properties. What I want you to do is go find 10 different nodes. And these are the things that take up the space in the world. But, but I want to see ones with different properties. I want to see ones that you can uh, walk through, ones that you can't walk through, some that you can actually go through, but it slows you down maybe, um, some things that you can kind of see through, but you can't, uh, uh, can't completely. So uh, go find me 10 different nodes with different properties. Go!